What's up guys, in this video we'll be discussing all things housing here at Full Sail University. Let's go. Sir, 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 what's your name? Ian. What is your name, age, and degree program? Uh, my name is Marcus, I'm 18 and I'm in the film program. Awesome, and uh, why did you choose Full Sail? It seemed like the most intensive and like gave me the most opportunities I needed to like really just go into my program. What is your name, age, and degree program? I'm Samuel, I'm 29, and I'm going for the Bachelor of Science in Cinematography. Are you in the 20-month program or 29? Uh, well, I'm a transfer from Los Angeles Film School, so I'm actually unsure of how many months I have left. What is your name, age, and degree program? Hi, my name is Julian. I'm 19, and I, go to, I do Bachelor's of Film, Film Bachelor of Science. How are you able to afford housing around here? Work, investment, you gain them scholarships, that's it. What is your name, age, and degree program? My name is Gabe Feichert. I am currently 20 years old. My program is filmmaking. What was your experience like with the housing when moving to Full Sail? You know, it's kind of difficult to find information on it, or was it pretty easy? It wasn't too hard. There definitely are a lot of places that are profiting from Full Sail's lack of dorms. Now that you've been to another film school, what's your opinion on like how Full Sail is doing their film program? I think this treats students more like students. When I was in LA Film School, and this is my personal opinion, I felt more like an intern that was being uh, put in the ocean a bit, which I didn't really, I'm not saying I felt lost, but I felt kind of uh, secluded until I started making friends, and that's, and that's fine. But over here, I feel like it's a lot more comforting to make friends. Like I said, over there, it's more like colleague-esque. And people are always wondering, does Full Sail give scholarships? Uh, did you receive a scholarship to come here? Yes. What did you do to receive your scholarship? Simply just wrote an essay telling Full Sail, you know, why do I want to be here? I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to educate, and I'm willing to, you know, put in extra work in to, you know, to get the education I'm looking for. Well, the apartment I'm, I'm in right now is a little pricier. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how much are you paying for rent? Uh, I would say about 15, 30, something, that, something like that. And that's with a roommate? No, that's a single. Single? But that's also not, I don't think my complex is part of like the student living. So like the ones they uh, suggest with like the pamphlets and all that, uh, I had to go out of my way and find this one on my own. So I would say that uh, was probably some of the reason. But other than that, you know, it's not too, too crazy. And was the housing department here at the school of any help to you since you stated how it's not part of that program? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they gave me what I needed to like give into the complex and all that. Uh, they gave me exactly what I needed to get all my funding straight away. Uh, so like they helped me out with all, all that funding, all that student funding to actually get my rent paid and all that. So yeah, they were really helpful at that, especially considering like, you know, they weren't already in partnerships with each other. So, I mean, they went the extra mile and got that for me. What is your rent looking like around here? The rent, I wanted a one bedroom, but I ended up with uh, two other roommates, which I was unsure of wanting to have. But the rent is, because I have two other roommates, fairly cheap, right? Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get along with them, but Full Sail Housing, they grouped me with other people who had the same interests. You know, we all kind of want to strive for the same thing with different talents. So in a way, it's, uh, we're also collaborating even in school and out of school with other people, if it's your roommates that you just met. That's pretty awesome. And what was your experience like getting to choose those roommates? I would say that was tough, but mostly it was me on, on that part. I was very undecided. I was being, <laughs> I was a difficult one in the housing situation because I was so picky, but all in all, um, it, was, it was for the best. But you did get to choose your roommates, correct? I did, nothing was forced. What's your situation like getting to school? Uh, do you walk here, do you take a bike or? I drive, that? I drive, I have a car. Nice. Do you think that students coming to the school need a vehicle, or is that just an optional thing? There are some apartments that are not too far away from this place. I don't live at those, but I do have some friends who do, and they often just walk or take a scooter here, and they seem fine by it. It's a good excuse to get good exercise, but if you have a good deal at a place as far here from here, I'd say you probably should hopefully have your own car. Look at this. If you, go, if you come to Full Sail, Keep this in mind, people ain't walking around here. They come to one class and then go home. What is your name, age, and degree program? David Fontenot, I'm 41 and I'm in the film bachelor's program. Now are you in the 20 month program or 29 month program? The 20 month program. And do you think that makes it easier for you to have a job outside of school? I haven't really attempted yet. I've been focused more on school. It's been like 17 years since I've been to school and I figured school was more important. Myself, I'm in the 20 month program and I have found it kind of difficult to find a job. So that's something for people to consider. I worked at Pizza Hut for 10 years. So I did walk to a Pizza Hut and ask them about employment and they said they have full style students and they know their school curriculum is hard to work around. So they're willing to work around your hours and your schedule? Yes. Do you feel like 
uh, coming to a school with an expedited program makes it easier to consider coming here due to the fact that you would uh, overall pay less rent because you're doing a two-year program rather than five years at normal universities? Oh, yeah. No, um, it, re it really is much easier now that you th mention it, like, you know, not paying as much for maybe three or four years uh, or maybe like any more than that, you know, just going for about or well, maybe two years and some change. That was a little bit easier, like, you know, with my lease and all that for the m amount of months they give me. Uh, and if I wanted to move in, you know, somewhere else, then I wouldn't be staying at that place too long. So, you know, I think it's a little bit easier uh, and quicker with that uh, now that you mentioned, like, the shorter program. And all. If you had any advice for future students about, you know, either being in the 20 month program or 29th month program in order to get a job, uh, what would you have to say about that? Just have ambition. Know that you really want this besides, you know, thinking like, oh, I just want it for money. You know, you got to think more than just money. You got to think of like, is this what I want to really want to do? Is this when I work at a nine to five job? Is this like a place where I feel comfortable to be creative or to feel motivated or to basically show people, show my boss, show my employees that, you know, I'm supposed to be here? Best advice is just, you know, one, have confidence to just to walk and communicate. And then two, accept it basically that, you know, some things don't go your way. Are you in the 20 month program or 29 month program? 29. 29, do you find it that having that 29th month program makes it easier to find a job? Yeah, um, yeah, it gives me a little bit more flexibility. You know, just having that little extra couple months of leeway uh, gave me a lot more time to like stretch out, get more comfortable in my place and all that. So I would say, yeah, I would say, yeah. Absolutely, and I believe with networking, it gives you a little bit more time to network with people, which is the most important thing about coming to this school. Oh, yeah. um, any final tips that you have for anybody that's thinking about coming to the school? If you want to go in with a roommate, find a roommate. Um, you know, just go be, don't be afraid to like branch out and find people. And then even when you're here, like if you're like me, uh, and you already have a couple candidates that you want to move in with now that you just met here on campus on uh, just the span of a few months, you know, everyone like, the networking is really important for that, I would say. And you know, I don't know, just take it easy and then do what works for y'all with like the housing and all that, so. Are you currently, like, do you have a job or anything outside of school? No, um, I'm a full-time student. Well, um, I have benefits from the GI Bill. How has it been dealing with the whole VA side of it to get your money for housing? That was tough, only because I was transferring, because I was going from LA Film School to here, I started with online. So until online became, you know, coming to school in person, that it took a while for it to change my bank account, you know, from 800 to what base housing should be. So uh, it just, it, I just had to be patient. Do you wish Full Sail had like dorms or anything like that to make it easier to move here? No, no, I'm glad they have it the way they do. Would it make a difference for you if Full Sail actually had a dorm? I mean, it'd definitely be different, but it really depends on the dorm, I suppose. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to join the crew. God bless you.